Right, so this video is about getting a Givy top box off when it just won't, the button just won't press in to release it. So if you undo these two inner screws, that allows you to take the whole of the mechanism off, which is there. I've copper slipped that now. And as I say, the problem I had, I couldn't push this right the way in to release it. So I took the button off, pushed that in, and it wouldn't go all the way. So I did it with hammer, which, which released it. Which then, which then allows you to get to the mechanism, which is this slides in and out and there's a spring at the back there which makes this spring loaded and I think what happened was in this hole here you have a spring and I think there's meant to be a ball bearing in there which when you turn the lock just holds it from coming back on itself it just naturally wants to flop back see it just flops back a little bit and I think that's what the ball bearings in there but for some somehow it's managed to escape out of the little hole and get in behind this mechanism stopping it from going right the way back so I've managed to get that out and free it all up so won't be needing this anymore There you go, there's the, there's the mechanism on a Givy box. This is one of the mono, mono key, mono lock, whatever it's bloody called. Yeah. So yeah, as I say, put yeah. That bit goes on there, not on the floor, with this knobbing in the up position. And then that's what the lock stops moving, locks behind that to stop you being able to push it in. And then that just goes up in there. Like that, nice and flush down here, and then just do your two screws up. Simple as that. So, yes, if your Gibby box is stuck on, just undo your two little screws and take your locking mechanism off. There you go, hope that helps somebody out.